folks, I'm moving up to level two here, some things that you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I'm going to do is just kind of piece together um, a playlist of all kinds of different things. And that way, I say playlist, a list of things you can do. And then we'll be able to just click on what you want to learn. Because, you know, there's, there's a lot of systematic ways we can go about this. But then there are a lot of specific things you might ask a question about. And what do you want to do? Start going as best as I can through those things I think you might want to learn how to do. First of all, let's say let's I've got a, a, a video here. Let's say I've got Crabtree Falls. And so I've got some 4K video here, 15 frames per second. And I've got some... Uh, uh, just other video. Let's look at what I have. This is just me and some of my cousins and I. We're going to go around Crabtree Falls uh, and hike down to the to the bottom of it. And here we are going down some hills, uh, some steps. So I'm going to click an end point here. I just hit the end. I'm going to go to a clip part where it's out. We're just going down the trail and I'm doing some commentary. And once again, maybe it's best for me just to mute this for now. I'm going to kind of turn this way down low. Might even decide to go over here and just mute this audio track. I'm getting ready to drag it onto just because I don't want you to have to hear all our kind of silly audio. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull the audio and video down here onto this line. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do here is show you how to do, how to add tracks of video. Now there might be times, let's say we want to do a title here. I'm going to say new title, and we'll just call this regular title one. It doesn't matter. And we'll say Crabtree Falls here. I'm going to go ahead and just create the little title. I'll just quickly add a drop shadow so you can see it there. So let's say we've got this little title we've got that we're going to put down at the bottom and it's going to stay on there the whole time. Well, there's another video track, as you can see, that's going to like stay in the video, right? This might be something you might do even with a uh, with a watermark. So you had a channel mark or something you want to put on, on one of your videos. And maybe I've got that too high. Now I could go in here and I could, I could go into the title and I could bring that down some if I wanted to. I'm not trying to digress here, but to show you what we can do. There's various ways we can do that. We'll talk about more about, about positioning things later. I could also have uh, clicked on this and, and told it through effects controls to reposition. But there we go. We've got another video. Let's say, you know what, we, we, we might, we've got something else we want to put over the top of this. Maybe there's, um, yeah, at some point we want to put some of this 4K video on top of here. Here's some video of the falls itself. So I'm going to... Click an end point, and I'll let a little bit of that go, and an out point. And let's say that maybe I want this video to show up, go, go up, to, up top here to show people where we're headed, right? Maybe it's an inset or something. So I'm going to pull this video down here onto this, and it's going to be much larger, that video, because it's 4K video. It's way larger than 1080p. It's four times that size. I don't want this audio, so I'm going to show you something to do here. You can click on this and say... Uh, um, unlink. See up here? So I'm going to delete this audio. So now I've just pulled video down. Now, now consequently I could have also have just gone here and grabbed this and dragged the video down and that would have just dragged video C and no audio. It's good that you see that because you do that sometimes then you pull down audio you don't want or anything. But I'd like to use this maybe as an inset. So I'm going to click on the 4K video. I'm going to go up to effects control. I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to go to scale. I'm not putting a keyframe in here. I'll tell you why. We'll talk about this a little bit more about keyframes later. But let's say that I want that, that right there, that piece of video to go up here in the upper right. I'm going to pull this little thing over here to, uh, to the upper. What I'm doing, uh, uh, you, can, you can hold over this, and you can left-click and pull left and right and go up and down. And this one does your uh, right and left right there. Now, that doesn't stick out too much. You can't see that very much. It kind of goes over the top of the other leaves. So I'm going to put a drop shadow behind it. I'm going to go over here to effects. I'm going to say D-R-O-P, drop shadow, and I can pull drop shadow onto this piece of video, and then I can specify what I want that drop shadow to do. Right now, it's uh, the distance is only five pixels. Let's say I want this drop shadow to kind of come back this direction, like I'm doing this here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right here so I can see what direction I want to go. I want to go down to the lower left. Okay, and I want the distance to be, I don't know, a little bit more than what it is now. And I want the uh, opacity to be a little bit more than what it is now. And maybe the softness to be a little softer. I don't want it to be too harsh a shadow. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm creating a, uh, a distance. We can go and do this a little bit better this way. That way you can pull and slide it. Softness, 40. Let's go 50. 
So now we have a drop shadow on this piece of video. And if I move the video up and down, the drop shadow moves with it. So the whole reason I'm showing you this is now we have we have two tracks of video, right? What if we wanted a third what if we wanted to say uh this is the falls right here or something like that? And look at this, we've run out of video tracks, haven't we? So we would like to put a new new title. I'm gonna go ahead and like probably du duplicate this title. I'm gonna say duplicate. So now I have the I can retitle it if I want to. This is the falls. Okay. I'm gonna double click on this one. And I know that I want that this is the falls to be up here, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull my type tool. This is the falls. Okay, and I might want to make that smaller or larger. It really doesn't matter. I'm just this is just for the sake of a demo right now. So here we go. I'm gonna save this. And so right now that title's not there until I pull that title there. Uh, I've got this one title right here, but say I want this title to be over the top of this 4K video. Well, look, we don't have a track. How do I do that? Well, you, typically you go up here to Sequence, and you go to Add Tracks. See it right here? Now, it's going to add tracks after whatever track your, you know, your last track was, Video Track 3. This always kind of aggravates me, audio placement after six. You see what they do down here? They give you 5.1 mix audio down here. <clears throat> sometimes you're working in 5.1, sometimes you're not. I like to usually go here and keep my audio on the same tracks. Like I've got a video track four here. I like to have mine on audio track four instead of it this 5.1. So what I'll do is I'll say uh, video placement. I'm going to add a couple tracks. Let's add two tracks. Two tracks of video is going to go on top of this. And let's say I want to, uh, this to be maybe two tracks of audio after audio three rather than audio six. So I'm going to add two tracks of audio. So if I do this, look what happens. Now suddenly we've got room to put even more stuff, don't we? So I'm going to leave this, um, I'm going to leave my little 4K video up here in the upper top for a second. We'll, we'll put our other overlay on this. Uh, I'm going to drop, uh, so I'm going to get my other title here where this is the falls. I'm going to put it on top. So now you can see we have four tracks of video, four tracks of video, just one track of audio, but if I wanted to add as many, if I wanted to add a soundtrack here, a voice over here, some other audio of some sort, I could do that here and I've got the extra tracks. So that, folks, is how you add extra tracks in uh, Premiere Pro. Let's move on to the next uh, lesson.